And now another exciting episode of Dan vs. Fish on Fish and Affliction TV. Well, folks, on this featurette of Dan vs. Fish, we're going to be doing some vertical jigging for some crappie. But we're also going to be doing something that I'm excited to do, and that's to throw that Tennessee rig or the triple rig. And here it is. You know, when we go to Gunnersville, we throw what is called the Alabama rig, and that's a five-bait version of this bait right here. But in the state of Tennessee, that bait is illegal. So this is what you can throw. This is a triple rig or a Tennessee rig. And you can see that I've tricked it out here with some Strike King 3X grubs. I've got some Mustad jig heads. I've got a seven and a half foot Aris rod. I've got my 610 US reel, and I'm spooled up with Senshi monofilament made by Seaguar. And as you can see, that my triple rig right here, which I bought at Poindexter's in Gallatin, Tennessee, but you can get them at Flippers and let's see, Bass Pro Shop, Academy, and of course all those great places over there in the Percy Priest area. But the one there that I got at Poindexter's, well, this has a chatterbait head. Now, I haven't caught a bunch of fish on the Alabama rig, and I've not caught any fish on the triple rig, folks. So I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I tell you what it does do. It gives me that sensation of the vibration, which helps me to think that that bait is uh, working the way that I would like it. I'm used to throwing a chatter bait. I like that feel. I'm not so sure that it makes a big deal of catching anything as far as the bass are concerned. Uh, if it'll catch more fish or not, I don't know. So after doing a little crappie fishing, I'm gonna pick up the triple rig, the Tennessee rig, and see what we can catch. I'm excited. All right, is the triple rig for real? I'll tell you what, folks, I hope this fish stays on. I'm gonna get my Frayville net. Let me see if I can get this net right here. Oh my goodness gracious, folks. Now, I wanna show you something. Strike King grubs on a triple rig. What do you think of that? My gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, look how big that fish is. My gosh, folks. I'll tell you what, that is the second cast that I've made with that triple rig. I put some Strike King grubs on, some of that 3X grubs that they have, and look how big that fish is right there. What an absolute tank, folks. I'll tell you what, that triple rig is absolutely an unbelievable bait. Whew, I tell you what, I, <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. I've been vertical jigging today for, <laughs> for crappie. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, because <laughs> I've been, I haven't been bass fishing, so <laughs> this is such a great surprise. But I tell you what, that is an absolute beautiful, beautiful largemouth, isn't that? Look how big the belly is. And I'll tell you what, this triple rig is just incredible. Well, she is happy to return where she came from, and I'm gonna tell you what, I am happy to finally catch one on the Tennessee rig or that triple rig. Folks, it's a great bait. I would highly suggest that you get out there, get you some Strike King swim baits, or get you some grubs, some Mustad jig heads, an Aris rod, get you some Seaguar line, and go and have a ball catching some fish on that Tennessee rig. I'll tell you what, it's a great bait. It's a whole lot different than what you're used to throwing, and the only way that you can get used to throwing it is by throwing it. I'm gonna stay out for a little while longer to try to catch a few more fish on this triple rig, and I thank you for watching this little featurette of Dan versus Fish. And now back to Fish and Affliction. Awesome, awesome.